here's the issue I'm having. It's Coyote KL352. And my joystick was sticking, so I took it apart, lubed it up some. This had actually came loose, the nut had came loose on it. And uh, this was coming loose from the base. So I fixed that, I lubed it up some. But here's the issue. The curl on the bucket, when you pull it in to curl the bucket, everything lift up and down works great. But when you, the curl in works good, but when you try to dump it, it gets stuck and you see how hard it is to push back. It gets stuck. Okay, I made a video the other day and I posted on almost every tractor site that I could find uh, because I was having problems with my joystick. It was sticking during the carol and uh, dump function. Uh, let's see, let's get some light in here. Okay, this is what it looks like inside of there. Uh, I tore it apart and basically you just take this sleeve off and uh, that's what the inside of this one looks like. And this is a Coyote KL352 uh, and it's a DS3510 uh, Coyote tractor. Okay, and what I found in there, this thing is garage kept, so it's kept pretty well. And let's see, it's hard to get a lot of light in here. Let me fix this. There we go. Anyway, that's a lot better. So, what had happened is it was sticking really bad. Uh, and the nut here had worked loose. And it was loose, and then there's two Allen screws. I don't know if you can see them, but right there's one of them. You can see it. There's two of them there, and those had sort of came loose. The Allen screw back there in the back. And uh, so that made this, this bracket, I don't know what the bracket's called. Sorry for the video, it's just hard to hold the camera and light and everything. But this bracket was loose as well as that nut. Anyway, so what I've done is I came in here and I cleaned it all off with the greaser. And I used the blue Loctite hand tighten that nut up. Well, I also did it to the two Allen screws right there. You can see the uh, the top one, and it tightened this bracket back up. I used Loctite on both of them because first time I didn't use Loctite, I started uh, moving this the joystick up and down, and it worked right back loose. I mean, just almost immediately. So I did that, and I greased everything up, and it still was really stiff, like. It would lock over in this position, and I couldn't, like I'd have to shove it to get it back. And I, I've got a video, I'll, I'll put that video with this one as well. And uh, so I posted on every site, every Coyote tractor site that I could find. And somebody said something about a spring on the back of it that may uh, get gummed up and uh, on the back of this valve, the hydraulic valve, or valve body. So, uh, let me show you what I've done. Okay, let's get under here. There's two, there's two of those little caps. There's one right there, that's right in front of the screen. And then I took the other cap off, let's see. There's the other cap. So, I took those caps off, or the top cap, because that is where the curl function is. And that cap goes over this spring. It has two Allen, uh, two Allen screws that holds it together. So, let me show you sort of what it does. Okay. When I do the curl function, that spring comes out like that. And the cap, like I said, goes on the end of that and pushes that spring back. And then when I curl it inwards, that's that how it does when i dump it does like that well the cap goes on the end of it and pushes it back in and for 
whatever reason, I cleaned that off, that spring, re-greased it. I re-greased this cap down inside of it. And it's already, without putting the cap on it, you can see I'm not even having to force it back. And what happens is that cap will push that spring back. So I'm assuming when the cap gets back on it, it'll push itself back. And I won't have to fight it back and forth like I was having to do. But I'm gonna put the spring on it, or I'm sorry, the cap over that spring now. And uh, then I will hopefully have this thing fixed. But it's been a it's been a hassle, like I said. That's what it looks like once you take the sleeve off. Those uh, rod ends there. They have like a, it's not a bearing, but I don't really know what you would expect call them you know, almost like a ball joint type thing and uh, that's how how they're on there and uh, if they're not tight and greased up good because one of them was sort of stiff then it'll start to it'll start jamming your joystick up like I said I didn't know nothing about that on the back of the body uh, valve body and somebody had comment said that and I looked YouTube over and there's no video on it. So I figured I'd make a video about it. But uh, I'm going to put that cap back over it and uh, see if we can get this thing lined out. Okay, I've got her back together now. I put the sleeve on. And all it is is this sleeve has got a metal uh, thing when it originally came that uh, that was there. I just had to put move it off and then I just put a zip tie back around it. And uh, let's see, that's the way that cap is over that spring. That's how it goes. You can see the Allen screw and stuff. And one thing I would suggest doing is uh, you can see where I broke the uh, Allen screw, or I didn't break it off, but when I turned it, the paint and stuff, it had been painted over uh, from the factory. It's never been off. So what I would suggest doing is anything, especially on these tractors inside here, all the nuts uh, inside of here that I tightened up, I put uh, Loctite back on it because, you know, these tractors vibrate so much. And now that those, uh, the Allen screw was broke loose, I put Loctite on it uh, because it vibrates so much. I'm sure it wouldn't take much for it to vibrate loose and you lose that whole cap. And, uh, and everything so anyway i did all that but uh and i got the sleeve back on like i said i zip tied it back on but now look see and it always has sort of stayed over i don't know if that's i've always figured it was like a feature because it does have the uh it does got a feature where you just uh the float feature rather and it locks up and that is sort of like a feature I always thought like dumping gravel or something uh, you could dump gravel and it would slowly dump the dump the bucket but anyway uh, you can see it's a lot easier than what it was re here, uh, regardless so let's start this thing up and uh, show you it's going to take a little bit to crank it with your joystick sticking 
uh, in one direction or another. Uh, that is possibly one remedy. I imagine this lower cap is probably to the up and down feature on the bucket. Uh, that's where the spring for that is. So, uh, if it was to start sticking, then that would probably need lube. But for mine, it was the top one. So, hopes hope that helps with, uh, with somebody having the same issue.